Okay, it's time to increase the complexity now of fractional indices. And you'll notice that with these expressions, they all have a different base. And before we're allowed to combine all of these expressions together, we have to have the same base. So, we're going to change this 4 into 2 squared. And we'll change the 8 into 2 to the power of 3. Okay. We'll expand the brackets now and say that 2 times negative 1 half is 2 to the power of negative 1. And 3 times negative 2 thirds is the same as 2 to the power negative 2. Okay. So when we're multiplying, you're allowed to add the powers together. So we need to do 5 on 4, take away 1, take away 2. All right. And we could say that 1 is the same as 4 on 4, and 2 is the same as 8 on 4. So 5 take away 4 is 1, and 1 take away 8 is negative 7. So this will come to negative 7 on 4. 2 to the power negative 7 on 4. And this is how you'd write it in exponent form. I'm going to show you how you would write it in third form. The 4 is our root. Okay, So this is like the fourth root. The denominator always represents what that small number is. And then we have 2 to the power negative 7. Now, sorry, I should have back, I should back up. And say that negative power means that the base goes to the denominator. The 4 again is the fourth root to the power positive 7. And the negative disappears because we've dropped this down to the denominator. And that's it. Let's have a go at question 5. Alright, changing 64 into base 4, we have all of this to the power of 4 thirds. And this divider means I'm going to move all of this underneath. So we have 4 m to the power negative 2. Okay, let's expand these brackets. 3, to the, three times 4 thirds is 4 to the power 4. m to the power 6 times 4 thirds is the same as m to the power 8. This is a 4. Now, just to make something clear, I'm going to put a 1 in there to show that that is 4 to the power 1. m to the power negative 2. Now, if I move these two terms in the denominator up into the numerator, the signs on the powers will change. So we have 4 to the power 4, subtract 1, moving this up. And the same with the m's, I have m to the power 8. When I move the negative 2 up, I have to subtract negative 2. And so my final answer is 4 to the power 3, which is 6 v 4, m to the power 10. And that's it.